Hello, it's Marvin again with AMMJ. Um, just wanted to do a video going over the Penumbra. I haven't made a video since the first kind of prototype. So this is a production version. This is the box it'll come in. It's got little magnets and stuff. And um, so I'm putting this thing, a little rubber cleaner and brush. Okay. It's going to be chilling in there. And then the Benumbra. So it's got the diffuser bikini and uh, blackout or pattern generator bikini. Okay, the mount will come on it on the farther back position. All right, and I'm gonna give a couple of examples of it mounted up to some of my own setups. So I'll be back with that. So first setup that I have over here is the Ghetto Blaster, Noveski. And uh, I think I've posted a couple pictures of this setup with it piggybacking here on uh, 1.5 something Scalarworks T2 mount. And you just need the Scalarworks mount and the screws. And then on top of that, I have a Holosun um, EPS, no, 509T. This is the 509T. And uh, yeah, with the Surefire button here and a Surefire uh, Scout. So here we got white light, and then we turn it to green laser, and we have a green laser. Obviously, the other modes can be accessed through here, and then the size of the illuminator will be here with this kind of paddle throw lever style thing that we kind of conjured up here and uh yep so makes it super small and compact put it out and really get to use the buttons here up in the front we didn't have a lot of space here so you can get your whole modern grip and uh that's that setup got a rail scale there i can't put one here yep so yeah, I'll get the next setup. Okay, so now I have the Honey Badger, and this is more of a longer rifle setup. This is in 5.56, and as you can see here, I have the Unity um, Axon button. So I got white light here, and then also put it in green, and we can show the green laser. Now, I got my brake here. I can access my buttons here and uh, modes are here changed so i'm not usually changing through the modes so much when i have a longer rifle like this i probably have it about maybe halfway open between open and close or half the size of the spot and then uh, i'll probably pick like medium or low laser and then i'll probably put either medium or high illuminator and then just switch them back Mm -hmm. So, then the fuser's right there. Get it out of the way, put it back. Back to work here on the buttons. And yep, that's the setup I have on the Honey Badger. And I'll be back with uh, another setup right now. I'm back with an 11.5 SIG LT Spear. Now with this one, I didn't uh, want to use a button. I wanted to use the button on the actual laser unit. And um, so no cables, none of that stuff. And that's where really I I really show case the, the mount being all the way in the back of the laser here. Because I can overhang it kind of like the flashlight. And I can get my hand with my grip out here. Pretty comfortable, clamp it there. Still get... Uh, to the button there pretty quickly and if i have to I get to the white light but um all the controls are kind of here you know at the finger at the thumb okay so just uh open 
close. Mm -hmm. So for the throw lever, it's got like two paddles, one shorty and one longer here, kind of to start the travel and then to finish the travel, just to kind of get it going. And then these, again, I usually leave it kind of like the pointer. I don't put it so high, I put it like low. And then I put the illuminator on medium or something like that. Something that won't blow out, um, depending on the distance and barriers and things like that. So, yep. Those are kind of the setups. I'll line them up so they can be seen on the camera. So these are kind of the, the setups I'm expecting people to do. Um, if space is a premium here, I guess this is the most hand space you can get. This is like normal hand space. And then this is if you have more rail space, you can push everything forward and out more and then you, you get the benefit of the cable length and things like that. So, um, yep. That's going up, uh, they're up on the site now. And we will be getting more colors here soon. The Tactical Turkeys are doing their special donut. It's like a hot pink uh, setup. It's really cool. I kind of wanted to keep one, but I don't think that's prudent right now. <laughs> um, as you can see, I did most of the improvements that we talked about in the last video. We have a lot of lightning cuts. The throw lever, the switches were improved. Um, so, and we have the bikini covers now, and also um, showing the pattern generator slash blackout bikinis. So, yep, if you can take a look at it on the site, and um, I'll be taking some more videos here of it. it it's still a V cell. I actually improved the V cell since the last time, but. Um, Yep. Have a good day. Thank you for listening to me and uh, I'll be seeing you guys around. Bye.